Well, it's a nice day today. Uh, I actually drove in a car for the first time in weeks. You know, because that's what happens. That's life. You have challenges. And then you move on. Uh, you know, I'm going to touch on again more additives to the history of propaganda. And uh, more or less, these are bookmarks uh, to uh, chapters in that, uh, you know, I'm going to try and work backwards from the present day and how I've, I've already, see, already, sorry, already tried to correlate, uh, you know, uh, to genes and, uh, and genealogy and so forth because, you know, the propaganda is, is a weapon. It's weaponized art and uh, by definition of postmodernism, you know, anything can be art and so this is, this is art in itself and uh or you know by via performance and uh you know i think about the last financial collapse or at least uh that's what we called it in 2008 and that's when in, in my opinion where a lot of things started going down downhill uh, 2007 was like the year of the first smartphone and so that also the access to information which means the spreading of the, the easier uh, the propaganda gets spread and the message and, and so on and so forth. What was the, the idiom? The medium is the message. Uh, so this right here is a one-sided conversation and uh, I'm expecting you to listen. But so are many other people when they put themselves up online, you know, all these opinions. And, uh, you know, they like to, like to act like they're educated. But, you know, you think you know what life is, but you just do what you're told. Right. Um, you, you go into these schools of thought and you learn about about these concepts and these idealisms and then you go out into the world and you practice them but reality doesn't meet the expectation and uh, you know I get very angry quite frequently and obviously because well at this point in time you know I'm experiencing some hardship and I've been experiencing hardship on a cyclical basis uh, far more than other people, uh, but far less than many others. So I'm not special by any regard in my experiences because, you know, I've taken my actions and, I'm, and I acknowledge them and, you know, I'm not running from them, uh, from the consequences. But uh, the fact that I'm being excluded and I'm being subjugated and I'm being, uh, I'm being pushed out or uh, starved out or whatever uh, for having supporting having to say coming out and supporting in, in of uh, unionization of aircraft mechanics in, in Canada and honestly it needs to happen because the loopholes that exist with contracting and with employees uh, with, with with companies that don't don't have union unions for the tradespeople uh, is a real problem it's a real issue the, the disparity between the pay the, sorry, we call it the pay gap right from province to province company to company is it's not fair to the people that risk their lives and transplant all the way across the country from coast to coast uh, to just have a living. And, you know, having driven across Canada seven times myself, uh, I know how you feel if you're watching this. And I'm standing up for you as best as best I can, even though all of this stuff is happening, happening to me at the same time. You know, um, I've, I've made my efforts to apply to as many jobs as possible. And, but because of my transport at this very moment this video is not in good working order and I don't have any funds to repair it you know I will ask if you can help me uh, if you are watching this and uh, you know send something to either my Bitcoin address or to an email transfer to uh, noelsteel 427 at gmail.com you know I don't like asking for help I'd rather work for it that's the way it is but I consider this work uh, you know it takes work to think about all of these things and to you know digest them and put them into into meaningful messages uh, hey so right to walk on the path you know uh, and the thing is is that Christians really experienced a lot of persecution during COVID for resistance to the to the COVID vaccine and you know I don't blame them because it more or less we're finding out more and more information after the fact that it wasn't completely necessary you know by my opinion and many other doctors opinions like I'm not exactly an expert in virology but uh, you know there's there's a lot to be explored there and there's a lot that was suppressed a lot of information 
a lot of misinformation too let's be honest about that uh, but this is the means of propaganda in the new era in that which you don't know with the hall of mirrors you don't know what's real and what is it and they're not allowed so you're, you're just you're just subjected to the 24-hour bomb blasting and beating into into you know get back in your box get back in your box get back in your box go to work go to work go to work uh, without any any thought of, of, of the long-term consequences more or less the here and now um, uh, like an extreme version of triage and so many you know again uh, way, uh, one of the other reasons why I keep making these videos is to support uh, people like myself who have experienced much mental hardship and uh, duress you know the, the, the suicide rate during COVID was higher than it ever was and uh, the number of people that are still still experiencing um, mental health conditions is is just massive it's massive the attack on the human the human condition and in order to, to keep us all oppressed right if i'm going to use that language and uh and uh you know in control of psychopaths and machiavellian and sociopathic personality traits uh, the, these people that are in power that are, are attracted to these positions uh and also by people who are power tripping you know out of anxiety or whatever having never been in a position of, of power before and it, you know, power comes with great run, great responsibility. You don't know what it is until you have it, and then until you lose it, and, or if you have training. And as is with the military, you don't know how to be a good leader unless you're a good follower first. Uh, it, it goes a full circle, right? And uh, by me saying things, hopefully I can support the people that are serving. That's what I want to do. Uh, you know, if we're going to go on, on more of a tangent here, because obviously I we'll put as much information as I can into a short video. Uh, because, uh, you know, a lot of people don't even have the attention spans to read a book anymore, which is a great tragedy, you know. Uh, I'm just really disappointed with how, how, how society has gone and what direction has gone, um, especially under, under the current government. Let's put it like that. Isn't that right, So, Not everything is the way that we think it is, and even smart people make mistakes, so I'll forgive them. Uh, because they're out, under a lot of pressure themselves as politicians but the decisions that they made have, have consequences and they will be judged in the court of public opinion so moving on and I'm going to, I'm going to talk about politicians and I think about say like okay so the the Obama era and the Hopi changey stuff and how everybody got rallied behind that and it was just like it was just this great you know wonderful feeling of intoxication uh, which affected, uh, you know, the, affected the entire world to an extent. And, uh, you know, but uh, this is the way it works. Is This is the way that the narcissism and the psychopathy works, is that they're so, they're so influential and so charismatic that uh, I'm not going to say that Obama's on any of these things. Uh, just to be clear about that, I don't know the person. And let the history, history be the judge of him and his actions. You know, you gotta sometimes you gotta you gotta separate the personal life of the person from from their political career. Uh, same with like artists from their art. If you can't do that, then you may not be able to to understand what they're trying to get across. Uh, you know, the message and so forth, repetition, yada yada. Uh, but there was this like this great feeling that you know we could the young people could change the world. And that falls in line with, you know, the, the other principles of, of, of uh, you know, how the propaganda works is usually it works, works first on the women and then, it and then it works on the young people next, you know, because uh, the, the rebellious tendency and the, the, the establishment of individual identities uh, from youth, you know, trying to separate yourself from your parents and then have your own life. Um, this is the way, right? That is, is, this is at least the... the, the uh, the psychology that I know about, uh, please do your research and look it up further. Uh, you know, as far as you know, uh, as psychological development and personal development of, of character uh, is very interesting, very fascinating. And uh, you know, I look back at it now because that's the way you're supposed to look at history is, is that after it's passed and with with a bit, a little bit of, of, of time, and uh, more objectivity than subjectivity, and you can have emotions involved. In, in the assessment, but emotions can make things uh, uh, corruptible and corrupted, and uh, you know because uh, that's the way a lot of the the the, the propaganda works on is is based upon emotions, you, you know patriotism or um, hope and change, 
uh, high expectations or anger or love. Uh, any, any the, it, as I said, it, it, propaganda could be pretty much anything. And the way that it was used a lot in the 20th century before before I, I cite Obama, the Obama era, and it would be like commercialism and consumerism. Uh, and you know, George Bush even had this whole thing where I'll get into that much later uh, as I move forward with this in, in these these videographies uh, with the chapters. Because, you know, uh, the history of propaganda is the history of humanity. It is the, the message and the communication weaponized, weaponized art. Uh, and uh, so we're at 10 minutes now. That's where I'm at for today. And I'm going to keep walking with my 25 pounder. 25 pounder right here. Because the only way out of the forest is through it. And if you think I'm a psychopath, you should look in the mirror because we live in a psychopathic society.